In this video, we're gonna talk about no escape. The walls close in on Gunslinger Spawn. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 34. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Gunslinger Spawn, as Gunslinger seeks to flee from the police, the roof of his motel caves in, trapping him in the wreckage. So they put a gun to his head and they are given orders that if he moves, put a bullet in him. But two months ago, a bullet wouldn't have mattered. Today, it will kill him because, you know, obviously the events in Spawn issue number 350. So the policemen and SWAT, they're like, okay, in the meantime, clear the perimeter, get all the tenants out of there, then put three units on the backside. I don't want any media pricks finding themselves anywhere near this place. So the sergeant asks, what about the medics that are on standby? Well, he tells them, our men get treatment first. This mofo gets treatment later. So he doesn't care if the cycle bleeds out. I want photos so I can run an ID on this brother. So they will gunslinger spawn in a hospital bed <laughs> i can't think of oh, the gurney that's the name so they're like what a mess they take off his mask so they can get the vitals and the cops are like okay the governor is sending the national guard to help they should be here in an hour so they talk to the hotel manager or actually the motel manager and the motel manager tells the cops like i told everyone the guy was polite and quiet and paid cash for everything same for the lady that was with him. I hate that he has to put Linda on blast like that because Gunslinger Spawn didn't want Linda to get involved in any of this. So after all that's happened, the ambulance ride is eerily quiet. Perhaps because in a town like this, none of them know how they're supposed to act. They rely solely on instincts. But you know, his heart's climbing so they, they realize he needs oxygen. But outside, a stream of deafening sirens on the local streets. So the cops are following the, the medics of the hospital because they want to make sure they get their guy. He's not escaping. So soon word of what's happened has gripped the city. So they put him on the IV. They get the blood transfusion set up. They put him down. They settle him in. They let him go do their thing. So the cops are talking to the doctors. And the doctors are like, look, I appreciate the sensitivity to your case. But your injured men, the cops, especially Thompson, they're going to get they're going to need to get some rest. Lots of it. So I keep it close to family members at the start. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Well, what about the perp? Well, as for Gunslinger, he's sedated, but he won't be lucid for six to eight hours. His belongings, we need to get a hold of those. So they do a search and they realize what kind of ammunition this brother is packing. He's packing heavy, bro. So 23 miles away with a slap, Gunslinger sent his steed away to escape. It hasn't stopped running since. So they go to Wahia and Linda's on that, that horse. So Wahia is like, okay, get her inside quick. This is the same woman that came days ago. They realize that. But she didn't come on her own will this time. She came on that horse's. Javier probably sent her for safekeeping. So we got to be gentle with her. Later on, she wakes up. She's like, okay, what is this place? That's okay. Do you feel hurt? She doesn't feel hurt, but she wants a glass of water because her brain is kind of fuzzy. So they're sitting there just talking. And she tells Wahia the story that she's been trying to get Gunsinger Spawn to do it like an attitude to check because all he wants to do is kill everyone and kill everything and it sounded crazy but all i remember is being transported here and surrounded by flames none of it makes sense and while he is like just drink this water it'll calm you down well the cops they came for hobby that's what i remember so she's talking about the events of what happened in the beginning of this issue and the previous issue so while he is like, I don't know if the cops got him, but I'll get answers for us though. Javi, if he hasn't told you, he's always had himself in steady trouble. Yeah, I know, says Linda. Our gunslinger spawn keeps talking about his family. That topic feeds the demons inside of him. All right, which for now he has many demons inside of him, but let the spirits watch over you. They will worry about this later. So close your eyes. For now, you're my main concern. The whole press conference outside the house was saying that they caught the perp. He's a murderer. He murdered Dylan Calhoun, the owner of many businesses in town. You know, setting up the story that we got our guy. Look at all the damage he's done. We were working tirelessly to catch his ass. But as of yet, they've been unable to ascertain the identity of the man lying in the hospital. They don't know his identity yet, but they know they caught their guy because they caught him on the video footage from the bank and the couple issues back so julio goes to this guy who looks like i don't know like a hitman with hair just talking about hey this keeps getting weird this company this pistol the company that manufactured it went out of business over a hundred years ago i searched and there's no known functional firearm like it in existence this thing looks like it's brand new so back to the hospital with gunslinger spawn the doctor's running tasks and he's evaluating gunslinger spawn and he hasn't noticed any change 
changes or anything off the charts. But Gunslinger wakes up, and because he's from the 1800s, not even knowing what the hell that's all this is about, waking up in a hospital 200 years in the future, this is a trip for him. So like a raging bull, Javi fights his restraints, and eventually a max dose of Valium does the trick. So while he's sedated, they want to get Gunslinger spawned in a robe, but what the doctors and the medical staff see horrifies him. The events, the extents of lacerations and scars riddled across the patient's body is unlike anything they've ever seen before. It's inconceivable how someone could have lived through so much physical trauma. But since he has, that might actually be a clue for them. And one of that clue is, you see that laceration on his chest right there? That was Carl Hearn's building logo in, the, in a couple issues back, I believe. So with that amount of mutilation to his body, these shadows just start talking. Imagine the toll it's taken on his mental state. Our brains are not built for this kind of stuff. So as Javier slips into deeper and deeper into his medicated sleep, Javi's subconscious begins to wander, grasping for his past, where fresh tracks told you everything you needed to know, along with other clues. So he finds these guys at a campfire. They're talking about their bounty. They did a murder. They're in it for cash. They're having a hard time sleeping. But are they really? But what they realize just now, all of a sudden, is their horses are getting away. And they realize quickly that somebody is out there. And Gunsinger Spawn shows up like, oh, there is. That's his dream right now. Even though this is Gunsinger Spawn's dream right now, this is their brother's nightmare he tracked them down for three days after he caught the news a rancher and his family had been strung up by them the husband his two girls and his pregnant wife but even more insidious is that they took advantage of the girls before hanging them they pull out their guns and guns to like don't you move boy but the thing is guns to is a listen to people like that he is going to deal with this business and he's going to deal with that how he sees fit so this cowboy gets up like knew you'll become a devil man Thanks for walking straight into my trap. So, I wish we had more of this issue because that is the end of this issue of Gunslinger Spawn. Issue number 34, where this is no escape. The walls close in on Gunslinger Spawn. I don't know how this dream is translating to what's happening in reality right now. But all I can say is I'm looking forward to issue number 35. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also, link in the description if you wish to buy this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art support the industry. With all that being said, thanks again for watching. Until next time.